Raise your voice, solid ground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> solid ground saves lives. That's what solid ground means to me. I'm just one of many lives that they save. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Susan Russell. I used to work as a union cement mason. I have built, I have helped build <laughs> Safeco Field, the Seahawk Exhibition Center, West Seattle Bridge, and Microsoft Campus in Redmond. And one night on my way home from work, I was rear-ended by an uninsured motorist and severely injured and I lost my trade forever. I had a safety net that lasted a few years, but when my money ran out, I was put out, and I came home to all of my things sitting at the curb. It had, everything had been ransacked. Everything I had worked for years for was gone. All my grandmother's jewelry, everything, was gone, a value. And that was my first day of homelessness. If you look up here, you see these flags. They're unity flags. And this is a vision that came to me one day when I was raising my voice in Ballard. <laughs> and they, it was, it, it, I was speaking in favor of tent encampments. And when I arrived, I, I was invited to speak with Real Change. And when I arrived, I arrived to a room that was packed all the way out the doors, full of people. They were angry. Um, they did not, you know. I'm standing up there speaking, and they're yelling and screaming, um, we don't want those people here. Tent encampments are ugly. And I stood there and said, it's we. You know, we are human beings, too. We are community, too. The only difference... <laughs> the only difference is you all have a home to go home to, and we don't. I want you all to think for a minute when you close your eyes and you go to sleep at night. Think about going to sleep at night outside without the safety of your home. That's when some of the worst things happened to me, was when I fell asleep at night. You see, without the safety of a safe place to live, you become a victim of random acts of violence out there on the streets. You become prey to the predator. And that's the reality of what happens out on these streets. <laughs> okay, so I, when I left Ballard um, from that meeting, I, when I walked out, I was crying. Um, Councilmember O'Brien, he gave me a huge hug, you know, and said it would be okay, you know. And when I left that meeting, this is the vision that came out of it. I called my friend Denise and I said, we have got to do something to make these tent encampments beautiful, to let everyone know that love lives here. You know, we are community. So we have been going out into the community. Most of the ones are painted by people experiencing homelessness. We go out and we do art in the community where people are sleeping homeless. And we invite people who are housed to come to the tables. Because when you see, when we sit at the tables and paint something beautiful, the barriers of fear leave, and we are able to have conversations. We are able to find out the hopes and dreams of each other. 
You know, we are able to see, and so many people have seen that how close they were to being homeless themselves, but they had that safety net of family. Or, you know, I mean, the reality is, you know, 51% of all Americans are one missed paycheck away from being homeless. Two, with the skyrocketing rents, a person working minimum wage, I could be wrong on the exact, but they have to work 132 hours a week in order to support that rent to keep that roof over their head. You know, wh where's family time? So anyways, this is one project that we are going out, we are, we are sitting at the tables and we're sitting and listening to these people. We're hearing their stories. You know, we're, we're, we're not interrupting them because we don't have time. We are letting them tell us what they need to thrive, what they value. Okay, so this is the Unity Flag Project. We are Love Wins Love. Um, if you look at your, your tables, you'll see a candle. These candles, um, every candle that is bought, we donate a clean solar light to someone living outside on the streets without access to power. To bring, so you buy a light, you give a light. So anyways, yeah, these, these are wonderful projects. We are building community. We are breaking the fear of each other. And this is wonderful. So let me tell you, when I first got to solid ground, I first moved into Santos Place. It, it, it's transitional housing. When I got there, I was exhausted. I had carried a backpack on my back every day, two months shy of seven years. When I got there, I had sleep deprivation, six years. I, had, I was in survival mode, which is it's a hard thing to come out of. It takes time, the trauma and stuff. So it took me about a year to finally be able to start dealing with things. But, and, and that's why I think it's so important for transitional housing that you're able to process things and to learn how to, to, to go back into the community, you know, because homelessness is dehumanizing and it really takes some time to heal and to mend. Um, I left my backpack eight weeks. My backpack sat next to the door. I couldn't unpack it because I really thought I was going to have to bolt and run like I did for years. I barricaded my door. Even though I had the key, I barricaded my door every single night so I could fall asleep and know that if someone was coming in, I would hear them and I wouldn't get harmed. So what I want you to know is... I am grateful for solid ground, you know? It took me 10 years to find permanent housing. Solid ground is my home. It took 10 years to finally come home, and solid ground is my home. They give a safe place to live, a place to heal, and a place to finally fall asleep without having to worry about harm. And that's what solid ground does. <laughs> I, you know, I'm looking out here at all of you, and I see the life changers, because without any of you, none of this would exist. It's a we thing. It takes all of us together. So I'm looking for 100% participation here. <laughs> 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 Woo! Raise your voice. 
Okay. I, I want $20 a month to be the least you give today. If you have more to give, please give more because you are the ones that are the life changers that give us an opportunity to live safe. So I know you got your envelopes <laughs> and the table captains. So today, please be generous because Solid Ground is one of the best organizations that I know. They are the ones that I finally came home and, and down at Sandpoint is where my home is and I am so grateful to all of you being here today. <laughs> Where's that music? <laughs> I know I was told that we were going to get some sly. <laughs> Give big!